and my father, um, he, he got most of his lives by bribing other men with his daughters. <laughs> I was one of the ones that refused to fall into that, and I chose my own husband, and uh, married and had a very loving relationship for 15 years, and uh, until I lost them through this blood atonement process. Blood atonement teaches that there are some sins that God cannot forgive by the works of Calvary, and therefore the sinner must have his own blood spilled. This blasphemous doctrine not only diminishes the power and the purpose of Christ's blood, but glorifies the atoning power of the blood of the Mormon sinner. While steadfastly observed by Mormon fundamentalists, this anti-Christian principle originated with Joseph Smith and was furthered by later Mormon prophets. This troublesome doctrine of blood atonement blemishes the wholesome public image required by Mormonism's leaders. Today, the brethren in Salt Lake City still grapple over the predicament they find themselves in when having to both affirm and deny blood atonement. For example, the late Mormon apostle Bruce R. McConkie, in his book Mormon Doctrine, denied that the church ever practiced or taught blood atonement. Yet on the same page, stated that because the blood of Christ is not sufficient to forgive certain sins, the Mormon God requires man to have his own blood spilled. On the 27th of June, we were carrying on our life as usual, and um, happened to be the 144th anniversary of the martyrdom of Joseph Smith. My half-brothers came into our office and murdered my husband. At the same time, there were three other consecutive deaths uh, going on. My brother-in-law, Duane, and his eight-year-old daughter, Jenny, was with him, and they also killed her. Our names were on the list of uh, to be atoned for. Uh, my father uh, believed that we were traitors to God's cause and that our blood must be shed to atone for the sin of uh, turning against light and knowledge, as he supposed. Blood atonement is if you have charity enough uh, for uh, someone to save them, uh, the shedding of their blood is the only way that they can atone for certain sins. People really thought they were doing a favor in my great-grandfather's day to shed the blood, save their soul, and it's still taking place today. My great-grandfather John D. Lee was one of the Mormon men who were called avenging angels or destroying angels. It was their duty, their obligation, to cut the throats, shed the blood of people who were apostate Mormons, who were, who were guilty of speaking against uh, the authorities. Jesus shed his blood that, uh, as an infinite sacrifice, but there are some sins that the blood of Jesus cannot atone for, and there it therefore it requires the shedding of uh, that man's blood to atone for adultery, for apostasy, for marriage to a Negro, for not receiving the gospel, for lying, for any of the other offenses. They'd have to have their own bloodshed to have forgiveness of sin. To put it simply, my father's beliefs stem directly from Mormonism. Not one, not one thing is different than what the Mormon, early Mormon doctrine is. The original doctrine that Joseph Smith and Brigham Young taught is exactly what I believe. I'm now at present baptizing people, and I have five apostles now, and we're out uh, teaching and, and preaching the gospel, trying to get the Mormons into the original uh, doctrine that Brigham and Joseph had it set on. And I refuse to give it up. I've been cast out of the Mormon church because of it. That's the reason why today people are still killing each other, shedding the blood so they can have forgiveness of sin. And it comes directly from Joseph Smith and from Brigham Young. There's been 27 murders since uh, 1972. My uncle, my sister, my brother Arthur, my brother committed suicide, which I, is a direct consequence of all of this. I would just like uh, you to know that uh, if anything happens to me ever or to my children, I will uh, personally, uh, I believe the Mormon Church in general will be responsible because the very doctrine of blood atonement stems from Mormonism.